Hello, I'm Dr. Lloyd Lillywhite from San Juan Veterinary Hospital, here to talk about one of the zoonotic diseases. Zoonotic diseases are those that are transmitted from people to animals or animals to people uh, in a normal type of environmental setting. We're talking today about tularemia for a few moments. Tularemia is a bacterial infection. It's an intracellular bacteria that resides right within the, the cells uh, in, in its victims. It's found in the northern hemisphere in North America as well as in the northern part of Europe. In South America they don't seem to be afflicted with this disease. Uh, this is a disease that's transmitted by uh, infected, from infected rabbits and rodents. Generally rabbits seem to be the primary culprit. Now it's whether these rabbits are dead or alive. Sometimes people find dead rabbits lying out in the, in the wild and they want to investigate. They move them around uh, and our animals do the same thing, dogs and cats. If they find a dead animal, uh, they may not leave it alone. This is a source of infection, as well as live animals that have, uh, uh, have the infection. It can be a, a very serious problem as far as transmission of the disease. Other animals, uh, such as rodents, like moles, squirrels, muskrats, and beavers, can also transmit the disease. We can have the disease transmitted also by infected fluid. If these animals go out and find a carcass or a sick animal, uh, uh, some of the fluids that are around those animals uh, can be a problem. If they ingest the animals that are infected, of course, that uh, creates a, a transmission of the disease in very high numbers of bacteria. We don't see this disease real frequently, but it is present in San Juan County. Here this year, we have diagnosed a case of tularemia uh, in a cat. It is present here primarily in the summer and the spring. Lymph nodes are the primary source of infection or the primary site of infection now, once it has been transmitted to the individual animal or to the person. Uh, the lymph nodes become very painful. It's not real common that this is a fatal disease uh, if it is treated. Treatment uh, will cure the disease. If it's not treated, it certainly can be very serious and can be a fatal infection. The way to avoid tularemia is to avoid contact with wild rabbits and rodents, whether they're dead or alive, and to keep uh, ticks that may be in contact with them away from us. And so it's important for us to prevent the infestation of fleas and ticks uh, in our pets so that we remain safe and our pets remain safe. And it's important and it is a doable preventative measure applying topical products such as Frontline uh, that will help to, to prevent the contagion of this and other important contagious diseases from people to animals or animals to people. Thank you very much.